Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Amma and if you're returning, what's up? Thanks for tuning in once again. For today's video, I'll be talking about an exciting life update in my life. So we're just gonna dive right into the video. As you may have seen, if you follow me on Instagram, because I posted some flicks and if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow my Instagram. It's at my first name dot last name, amat.aj, so you don't miss some good content on there. But if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted my grad pictures. If you don't know, I was doing my Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering. My background is in biomedical engineering. So for the past year and a half, I have been in grad school. Exciting, right? <laughs> I just finished my last semester of grad school last fall, 2023. So I'm graduating, I'm done with school. Words cannot describe how excited I am to just be done. <laughs> Halfway into grad school, I was over it. I was over it and I was just thinking to myself, why did I even sign myself up for this? I went directly from graduating undergrad to starting my master's. There was no break in between. So I graduated May 22nd, 2022. The next week, I started grad school. I had a week off. I had a week off, barely a week off, <laughs> because I had to pack out of my undergrad apartment. Let's talk about why I decided to work while doing my master's, because it's not something that I thought I was going to do, it was a very last minute decision. I decided that I was going to work while doing my master's, maybe, like a month before I graduated, honestly. <laughs> ah. Sometimes you think your life is gonna go away and God is like, uh-uh, honey, you, this is not the way I want you to go. And I think that's exactly what happened with this. So I applied early to my grad program as of the first semester of my last year in college, I, I knew that I was going to do my master's. I had already gotten into the program because I applied early, but the plan was I was just going to do school because it was just a one year program. So I was gonna do, I think six classes each semester for two semesters and just bang it out and be done in a year. And then when I was done with the program, then I was gonna get a job and start working. I graduate in May 2022. So as of April, I still wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going to work and then do my master's. <laughs> so I was having a conversation with my sister's husband and he was asking me like, oh, why, why haven't I thought about it? And that was the first time that that even crossed my mind. I was thinking I was going to work part-time, but never full-time. As of my senior year, I was working part-time as an engineer at my old company. So I was working part-time and the plan was I was going to continue working part-time at that company till I finished my master's and then I would convert to a full-time role at that company. The plan was always do my master's full-time and work part-time. So after that conversation with my sister's husband, I was like, okay, I didn't think about it, but I guess I could do my master's part-time and work full-time. So I started considering it. And then I was like, you know what? Let's apply to jobs and see how it goes. Cause it was really gonna depend on the job I got. Cause if the job required me to go in person every single day, it was not going to be feasible with my master's program. And also if the company wasn't comfortable with me not being available at specific hours during the day, it was just not gonna happen. Cause I had class Monday and Wednesday. My first class was like 10 a.m. to noon. And then my next class was like from three to four. It was like a weird schedule, I had gaps. So technically I only could work about five hours four to five hours on Monday and Wednesday. There are a lot of companies that 
they were just they were just not gonna accept that and so that was what I had put in my head that oh I can't work full-time because no company is gonna you know accept me or offer me a job full-time knowing that I'm going to school and 10 a.m. to noon is like prime time and it's and Monday and Wednesday like I feel like if the class was Friday that would be a whole different case but Monday and Wednesday 10 to noon and then 3 to 4 like I just have that huge gap and I have to go to class because my classes are in person so technically from 9 30 to 12 30 I am unavailable and then from like 2 30 to 4 30 I'm unavailable and so in my head I'm like Ugh, I'm not I'm not gonna get a full-time job like but you know God had a plan for me I got a job with a company that was so understanding with my schedule it, it just worked out perfectly. Even with that, it was hard because I'm still working a full-time job. Like I'm expected to complete my tasks, my assignments. I'm expected to start work earlier than everyone else because I have class. So I'm starting work at seven and I'm ending work later because after my class ends, I work until like maybe like seven in the night or eight in the night, depending on the stuff that I have to complete. What time am I gonna study? What time am I gonna do my assignments? Oh my god! Oh! Ah! Headache! 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 There were so many times where I just wanted to break down, and I did break down. I cried several times. I would just call my mom and just like sob on the phone. No! It was so overwhelming. The classes are so much more difficult than undergrad classes. Like, there's some undergrad classes that I barely had to put in effort in and I still pass. With master's classes, I'm spending hours studying and I still don't understand the concepts. I'm going to office hours, I'm watching YouTube videos, and I'm still failing. <laughs> I'm like, what have I signed myself up for? Like, can I actually do this? And I did. Like, God really saw me through it because it was not easy. It was not easy. Just doing your master's by itself is not easy. So just imagine working and then doing your master's. Mm -mm. And the program, mechanical engineering, bro. My background was in biomedical engineering. And I decided to do my master's in mechanical engineering because I just felt like the master's program in biomedical engineering was not going to teach me anything that I had not covered in my bachelor's. And I wanted to learn something more. I wanted to expand my technical expertise. And so I decided to do mechanical engineering. However, there are a lot of gaps between the two programs. Yeah, they're both engineering programs, but mechanical is different from biomedical. There are some similarities. There are some, you know, things that overlap, but there's also a lot of things that do not overlap. And the expectations from the professors is that like, you know the stuff, you should know the stuff you're in the grad school it's not like undergrad where the professors kind of don't expect you to know things in grad school they expect you to know things because you're obviously in grad school like they're not just gonna give you the degree for free <laughs> like, and the stuff builds upon things that you have learned in undergrad and some of those things were just not covered in my biomedical engineering background and so I found myself having to teach myself those things that were not covered as well as learning the new things in the program. So there's this phrase that C's get degrees. Yes, C's get bachelor's degrees. C's do not get master's degrees. And I found that out after I had gone into the program during orientation. So during orientation, they're like, oh, you have to get above a B minus or you get withdrawn from the program. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> How? How are you telling me this? Nobody told me anything about that. 
I didn't want the pressure of having to get a specific grade. I actually wanted to take my time, learn things, understand them, not because I wanted to pass a class, but because I wanted to build my technical expertise. But now you're telling me that if I don't get a grade above a B minus, you're gonna drop me from the program? What happened to C get degrees? <laughs> and so I was in for a shock. I was like, what? What? I cannot fail a class. I cannot fail an exam. And these exams are difficult. They're hard. <laughs> and I think in undergrad, we had a good support system. We all helped each other. I'm not saying that grad students don't help each other. I think because of the difference in skill set, the difference in age, the difference in where people are at in their lives, it makes it difficult for people to support each other. Like an undergrad, most people are around the same age. Like almost everyone in my class was within the same age, either a year older than me or a year younger. In grad school, I'm in class with someone who is like 20 plus years older than me. Like most of the time, I'm probably the youngest in my class. Like there's people with children, there's grandparents in the class. Like there's people who have multiple master's degrees. Like I don't know why they're in this class, honestly. And so that kind of makes it hard for us to support each other and also hard to do like group work, meet. It, it was just hard, I had no friends. I just recently got friends when I <laughs> was about to graduate. There was just, there was just no black people, there was, <laughs> there was no black people. I was the only black person in every single one of my classes throughout my entire time in grad school. The only one. God was my backbone and he saw me through this program. I think I relied more on my friends and family in grad school than I ever did in undergrad. I, I called my mom crying so many times. I don't remember calling her crying when I was in undergrad. Yeah, I did cry about Kim too and Orgo, but I didn't call her crying. I just cried in my room and cried in the shower. <laughs> With grad school, <laughs> I, I called her crying several times, several times. The imposter syndrome was crazy. I was like, am I dumb? These grad students will make you think that you're the dumb one. So every time they're teaching a concept and the professor goes, oh, does everyone understand? Every single one in the class nods. Everybody is Albert Einstein. But no, as for me, as for me, I'm like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. And they make you look like the dumb one. Come to find out that they don't understand because if you go and ask them, is the way my Ghanaian accent is coming out right now? Because th this is a serious matter. This is very serious. You ask these people in your class to explain a concept to you. And that is when you realize that you are even better off you are better off than them. And sometimes, even after he has explained it again, I still don't get it. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. <laughs> I am so excited to be done. I am a biomedical and mechanical engineer. Put some respect on my name. The tears, the tears that I put into this degree, you better not forget the MS behind my name. Whew, I have gone through it, y'all. Like, I gained a lot of weight because I was just stress eating, stress eating, crying, stress eating. <laughs> oh, depression. I don't want to. Once I finished the semester, I started glowing again. The, the classes were draining me. They were draining my, my happiness, my glow. They were just, I was just always tired, stressed about something, stressed about an exam, stressed about an assignment. Whew. Like I would not have passed those classes without prayers. <laughs> Serious prayers <laughs> because bro, I would leave the exam room thinking I definitely feel that. 
I definitely did. I am the one, I am the one, I am the one. <laughs> but you know, God, God always made a way. And so this is kind of a life update, but also testimony to God's goodness and God's greatness. And God will never fail you. Obviously, I did my part and I left the rest to him. I thought I couldn't handle working full time and going to school, but he would not have given me that job if he didn't think I could handle it. Like words cannot describe how relieved I am to be done with this program. This is my greatest academic achievement and it deserves to be celebrated. Like mom, if you're listening, I want a graduation party. Yeah. Okay, I think I have covered everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If there's any specific type of content that you want to see from me, please let me know in the comment section. Like if you want me to talk more about my experience at Tufts or talk more about my master's program, talk more about, I don't know, time management, dealing with stress, the application process. I don't know, just let me know in the comment section. I will try to make a video about that specific topic. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Like, why don't you subscribe? Like, at this point, you hate me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with more videos. My dog wanted to make, you know, a special guest appearance. Alfie, say hi to the cameras. Say hi. Say hi. Hey, he's sick of me. Oh my God, how cute would it be if I let him wear the hat? Will he wear it? I should have got him like a little grad hat.